Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this minimal Shopify website that can be optimized for t-shirt, clothing, apparel, and many other business types. This website is also optimized to look perfect on desktop and mobile devices. In this tutorial, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're familiar with Canva, you can set up a free account and you can design all kinds of graphics. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. By the way, if you're a beginner to Shopify, my Shopify basics guide is now available on my website. It is a detailed beginner's guide for Shopify and it teaches you everything you'll need to know to get your Shopify store started and ready for launch. In the guide, I've included a collection of video tutorials, written explainers, and live examples that will be linked in my description box. First, you're just going to open up Shopify and go to online store, then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see Shopify's free theme library. I'm going to be installing the original Dawn theme, and this is going to be the base for our website. Once that has installed, you're just going to click customize. When you click on this icon, it will show you the website in full screen. And when you click on the mobile icon, it will show you how the mobile version will look. First, I'm going to click on this header. Then I'm going to set the desktop logo position to top center. Under announcement bar, you can retitle the announcement bar. Click on theme setting, then logo. Here you'll be able to upload your logo and favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend having a logo that's in a transparent PNG format. Under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of the logo. You're going to open up color scheme 1. I'm going to set the solid button background to white and the solid button label to black. Then you're going to open color scheme 2. I'm going to set this background to black. Then I'm going to apply a gradient background. The ombre is going to be black and a light gray color. I'm going to set the text to white. Then the solid button background to white, change the solid button label to black, and the outline button to white. Then you're going to click on the announcement bar and set this to color scheme 2. You're going to click add section, then import a slideshow. Then you're going to remove this image banner. When you scroll down and scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. Under sticky header, you can select none to remove that effect. You're going to remove the heading, then the subheading, and remove the container. Under desktop content position, you're going to set this to bottom center. Then you can retitle this button label and paste a link to a page or a product collection within your website. And I'm going to repeat those steps for the second slide. Click add block. And you're going to repeat all of those steps again. Under desktop content position, you're going to set this to bottom left. Alright, I've opened up Canva and here I'm going to show you how I designed those three web banners for the slideshow. I'm going to click custom size and the dimensions I'm going to be using are 4320 by 2160 pixels. I'm going to click on elements, open up grids, then apply a to grid. You're going to remove the grid spacing. When you click upload files, you can upload the pictures you're going to add straight from your computer. Then you're just going to drag and drop those onto the canvas. Then you're going to upload a third picture. And I'll be using Canva's background removal feature since this is a Canva Pro feature. If you don't have a Canva Pro membership, you can just use another free background removal editor. In Elements, I'm just going to upload a square shape. Then you're going to search for a faded element. And I'm going to reduce the opacity of this. And that will just create a bit of an ombre effect. I'm going to click on text, then upload a text box. I'm going to change the color to white, then I'm going to apply the font, the signature. Click effects, then apply a lift effect. You're going to apply another text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font Futura. In effects, I'm going to apply another lift effect. You're going to duplicate this text box and create a smaller tagline text right below it. Under elements, you're going to open up shape, then apply a circle shape. You're going to duplicate this text box. Then I'm going to put this in bold. And this is going to be the first slideshow banner. I'm going to click add page. Under elements, you're going to open up frames and upload a square frame. I'm going to duplicate this, then duplicate it again. Then drag and drop your pictures. You're going to scroll up. I'm going to be copying and pasting this element. Here I've searched for an abstract element. And I'm going to be uploading one of these to the background to add a little bit of pattern. Then you're going to reduce the opacity. Click on text, then upload a text box. I'm going to put this in uppercase, then apply the font Futura. Then you're going to put this in bold and italic. You're going to duplicate this text box, then duplicate this. Now you're going to click add page. Again, I'm going to be copying and pasting this bar effect. I'm also going to copy and paste that abstract effect. You're going to upload a square shape, then you're going to upload a square frame. I'm going to apply a text box, put this in uppercase, and apply the font Futura. You're going to duplicate this. You're going to apply the font Canva Sans and put this in bold. 
For this last text box, I'm gonna apply the font, the signature. Once you're finished, these will be the slideshow web banners. You're just gonna download each of these in a PNG format for the best quality. Here on Shopify, you're gonna click select image, then upload that web banner. Under slide height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. And I'm gonna set the pagination style to dots. Then you're gonna upload the second banner. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the main slideshow. By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my store. It is a fully done-for-you Shopify template. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, it will come in a zip format. Here on your Shopify homepage, you can easily install that into your store and start editing. This will save you a ton of time from having to do all of this from scratch. This is a full package bundle, so it also includes all of the Canva templates that you'll see me putting together in this video. These Canva templates are compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you would need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download them. In case you need help editing this website template, there is also a step-by-step -step instruction guide included. This Shopify theme will be linked in my description box. Also, in case you guys just don't have the time to edit your website, I do offer custom installation. You would just order a Shopify theme from my store, and if you order the installation service as well, I will install it into your store and customize it for you. That will be linked in my description box as well. Next, I'm gonna show you how I added the collection list. So here, you're just gonna click collection list. I'm gonna increase the number of columns to four. Under heading, you can retitle this section. Click theme settings, then typography. I'm going to be changing this main font to DM Sans, and I'm going to put that in bold. I'm going to change the secondary font to Archivo Nero. When you click on a collection, it will allow you to select which collections you'd like to feature. Really quickly, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they are just collections of products that you've chosen to put together to keep your shop organized. Once you're done, that is how I added the collection list. And I'm just using these as examples, but your collection titles will show down here. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the About Us section. So here, I'm just going to upload a rich text. I'm going to remove the text and the button label. Then I'm going to reduce the top and bottom padding. And I'm going to apply color scheme too. Then I'm going to add another rich text. And you're just going to repeat that step. In between these sections, you're going to add an image banner. You're going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. I'm going to set this to color scheme too. You're going to remove this second button label, then you can title this button label and put a link to a page or a product collection in your website. Then you can title this section. Back here on Canva, you're going to open up that same web banner and click add page. I'm going to go down here to grid and I'm going to apply a three grid. I'm going to remove the grid spacing, then you can drag and drop your pictures. Once you're done, you can just download that page. I'm back here on Shopify and you're just going to click select image, then upload that background image. Under image behavior, I'm going to apply a fixed background position. Once you're done, that's how I designed the About Us section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the Shop Quality section. So here, I'm just going to add a multi-column. I'm going to remove the title and remove the button label. Under Column Alignment, you're going to set this to Center. Under Heading, you can type in a quality that your shop has to offer. For example, you can put Quality Fabrics, Fast Shipping, Great Customer Service, something like that. And under Description, you can put a mini description to match. On Canva, you're just going to open up that same web banner and click add page. You're going to upload a circle shape. I'm going to upload another circle shape. Here, I'm going to remove the color and apply a border. And I'm going to change this to white. Here, you can search for the icons you'd like to add. I'm going to duplicate that page. And I'm going to duplicate this page. Once you're finished, these will be our icons. Next, you can download each of these. Here on Shopify, you're gonna click select image, then upload each of those icons. Under image width, I'm gonna set this to half width of column. That is how I designed the shop qualities section. To add the featured collection, here you're gonna click add section, then upload a featured collection. Under heading, you can title this section. When you click select collection, right here it will allow you to select which collection you'd like to feature. For an example, most people feature their best-selling collection. Once you're finished, that's how I added the featured collection. I'm gonna show you how I designed the customer review section. So here I'm just gonna import a multi-column. I'm gonna remove the button label. Under heading, you can retitle this section. You're gonna set the column alignment to center. I'm gonna increase the number of columns to four. When you click on a column, under heading, I'm going to be pasting the star emojis. This is going to represent the customer's rating. Under description, you can paste your customer's review. 
I'll be using this text as an example, but I'd recommend putting their review and their name. You can even paste a link straight to the product they left their review on. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the customer reviews section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed that second web banner. So here I'm just going to add an image banner. I'm going to remove the second button label and apply the outline button style. Then you can title this section. Here on Canva, you're going to open up that same web banner and click add page. I'm going to upload a square shape, then upload a square frame. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Then you can drag and drop your pictures. I'm going to upload a text box. I'm going to apply the font Babe is New. Then you're going to apply a lift effect. I'm going to duplicate this and put another version on the bottom left side of the screen. Then you're going to download that page. Then you're going to upload that web banner into Shopify. Under banner height, you're going to set this to adapt to first image. Once you're done, that is how I designed the second web banner. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the email signup and blog post section. So here, you're just going to add an email signup. I'm going to retitle this heading and reduce the heading size to small. Then I'm going to add a multi-row section. I'm going to be removing this third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. Under heading, you can put the title of the blog post you're going to be featuring. And under text, you can put a mini description of the blog post. Then you can title the button label and paste the link straight to that blog post. Then click select image and you can upload a picture to represent the cover for that blog post. Once you're done, that is how I added the email signup and blog post section. Next I'm going to show you how I added the Instagram post section. So here I'm just going to add an image banner. I'm going to be removing the text and the button labels. Then I'm going to be adding a rich text section and I'll be removing all of the text areas. Then you can title this button label and paste a link straight to your Instagram. Here on Canva, I'm gonna be using that same web banner canvas and I'm gonna click add page. I'm gonna upload a text box and I'm gonna apply the font, the signature. I'm gonna upload another text box. You're gonna put this in uppercase and apply the font Futura. I'm gonna duplicate this and create a smaller text box below it. You're gonna search for an Instagram icon. And by the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, make sure to just use their free elements. Then I'm gonna reduce the opacity. Then you're gonna upload a square frame and I'm gonna be designing this in a sort of stair step pattern. Then you can upload the Instagram posts that you're going to be featuring and drag and drop them onto the screen. I'm going to upload another text box. You're going to apply the font Futura and put this in italic. This will just be your Instagram username. Then you can download this page. In Shopify, you can upload that page. Under banner height, you're going to set this to adapt to first image. Once you're done, that's how I designed the Instagram post section. All right, and here is the finished Shopify website. And don't forget, this Shopify template is available on my store. It is a fully done for you Shopify theme template. It will come in a zip format, so you'll be able to easily install it into your store with a few clicks. It's a full bundle package, so it also comes with all the Canva templates you see me creating in this video. This will save you a ton of time. In case you need any help, there is also an installation guide included. By the way, I've had a lot of you guys wondering if I can install your Shopify theme for you. I now offer custom installation. I would just go in and install this Shopify theme into your store and customize it for you. That will be linked in my description box. Also, if you're a newbie to Shopify, I do have a Shopify basics guide. This guide breaks down everything you'll need to know to get your Shopify store started. In the guide, I've put together a collection of video tutorials, written text, and examples that will be linked in my description box. Make sure to use my code Beverly20 for 20% off your order. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.